are they not the most tanned hands you've ever seen well and now match my face <laughs> because in previous videos when i'm talking because i use the centropay i'm even giving you the face up on the centropay purity face mist my face is quite tanned and obviously i use a tinted spf which gives me a nice little subtle glow <laughs> but when i bring my hands up to my face like i'm going to insert a clip here now for you to see an example of what i'm talking about my hands are so white so what i decided to do was when i spray my face overnight when i get out the bath spray my hands as well <laughs> you get nice tanned hands anyway how are you all i hope you're all okay today is the perfect day for me to nip to home bargains because i've got two shopping lists i've got my new house shopping list and i've got my current house shopping list so when i say my new house shopping list it's just for cleaning essentials that i might need for the new house so things that i wouldn't usually buy like bleach scrub daddy for the kitchen i would usually buy a scrub daddy but I mean, I'm going to buy new ones for when I move because I haven't bought Scrub Daddy in so long, but I do want one to clean my new kitchen with a Scrub Daddy. So I've got my shopping list. There's not that much on it, but... And then I look at it and go, well, it is. That's my shopping list for this house. And then I have my shopping list for the new house, which is quite a lengthy shopping list. And on there... Can we just touch on something really quick before we go to Home Bargains? I'm going to make this video... A bit more of a vlog style video and a little bit more chatty so if you do enjoy this style of video please give it a thumbs up because it lets me know that you enjoy it and encourages me to film future content in this way i'm so excited to move but here's the thing i don't know how i feel about going and using somebody else's toilet even though it's my toilet <laughs> going and getting into somebody else's bath even though it's my bath walking on carpets that are my carpets <laughs> although they are my carpets it will be my new house but does anybody else have that that nervous like anxiety about about the change i'm that person that goes on holiday and it takes me a long time to settle to spend a penny on that loo because it's not mine and all kinds of things run through my mind and i know it's ocd related and not everybody is this way but i've got real nerves over it so i've got a ritual in my mind where i'm going to clean the bathroom and the shower three times before we use it and that is just something that is <laughs> sounds absolutely bizarre to the majority i understand that but with ocd it's a ritual that i'm going to have to undertake and it makes me feel better and safer to know that i'm cleaning the bathroom and it will be nice and clean but i know it's going to sound bizarre to the majority but it's just something i would like to know if you're the same like i was speaking to my best friend annette just a couple of days ago and i said to her i don't know how i feel like she understands me she gets me god she knows me probably better than i know myself but i said to her i feel like she was like you know what are you excited for and you know i was telling her about all the things and then i said but i've just got that one fear when I get out of the bath or the shower in our new house and I have to walk out onto the carpet on the landing because it's not my carpet. And she said, no, no, I know what you mean, but, you know, we'll give it a good hoover. <laughs> we'll give it a good hoover. We, we could even steam clean it. And I was like, no, 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 we can't steam clean it because it could shrink. The carpet could shrink. <laughs> this is the way my mind's working. So I'm like, and obviously I'm not going to pull the carpets up because there's nothing wrong with the carpets. I've just got to try and overcome this in my own mind. What I've decided is I'm going to clean the bathroom three times and I'm going to put a pair of sliders in the bathroom and they where I can walk out of the bathroom wearing just a, a regular pair of sliders. That's what I'm going to do to overcome it. But I'd love to know if anybody else is the same and you have any little fears and how you overcome them. Well, that is a significant fear of mine. I've just learnt that the fridge freezer in our new house won't be staying in the house it's gonna it's gonna go because it's one of those large american style freezers so the current vendors are taking their fridge freezer so we've got no fridge freezer and i'm now gonna have to go out and buy a new fridge freezer for the new house but i've no idea where i'm gonna put it so it's gonna be a few days of us moving into the house where we've got no fridge freezer because i've no idea where it's gonna go and then i feel a little bit cheeky asking the vendors can i come back and have a second view and to try and map something else in my mind and measure up a little space to put the fridge freezer so i don't know but what i do know is 
I've got no fridge freezer. I might just get one of those little countertop fridges, you know what, you can plug in and it'll keep like the milk and the butter cold. I'll probably just get something like that until we're in and I've found the perfect spot for the fridge freezer. But anyway, that's enough rambling. I hope that you're all well. So I've got my bags in the boot of the car and let's just go to Home Bargains. Literally just got back from Home Bargains. We did nip into Dunelm as well because I wanted to go specifically to pick this up. It's a bamboo dustpan and brush, a long-handed dustpan and brush made from natural bamboo for £8. So I specifically wanted to go to get this. It's just going to be easier for cleaning rather than pulling the hoover out and charging the hoover. I can just use this really quick in the kitchen to do little spot cleans if I drop anything. And I also seen these on offer. These are the Dorma Sumptuously Soft Down Life Pillows. They were on offer from £25 to £20. They also had the other Dorma pillows on offer as well. I had a little feel between the two and decided to go with the Sumptuously Soft because it's so hard to find nice fluffy pillows. Obviously, I'm gonna keep these for the new house. I'm not gonna use these now. So I'll just pop them in the loft and when the time eventually comes for us to move, I've got new pillows for the bed. I also picked up, I picked these up while I was thinking on, although I've got them in my notes already for the new house, but it's very hard to find small rubber gloves. So I've got a pair of yellow for the bathrooms and toilet in the new house and a pair of pink ones for cleaning the kitchen. So I've got my rubber gloves. I also got, I think it's just called a plug chain. I think this was about 90 pence and it's to reattach the plug onto the bath because ours has come off. It's got like the little round hooks. So I'm gonna try and reattach the plug on the bath. Fingers crossed it works. I bought these solely for the way that the bottles look because the bottles look lovely. I got a number one, which is an antibacterial general purpose cleaner in zesty orange peel fragrance. And a number six daily shower cleaner and it's unfragranced, this one. They were on offer for two pounds, but I love the bottles. So you could basically keep those two bottles, one with glass cleaner and your antibacterial and pour into them whatever you want. I'm gonna keep them for the new house. I'm not gonna use them yet. So that was what I picked up from Dunnell. And then I nipped into Home Bargains. And this is the new Home Bargains on Edge Lane. It's directly opposite the new range on Edge Lane. So if you want a nice big quiet, well-stocked Home Bargains, highly recommend this one. They've just got everything in there and it's nice and quiet. It's not too busy. So I picked up all the little bits that I needed, which was tumble dryer sheets. <laughs> Bin liners, fabric softener. I got these foil trays because our Denny has got into making curries and spicy curries and mild curries. So he's making our tea for us tonight. So I picked these up for him to be able to transfer our curry into and rice to grab them. They were 99 pence. I picked up some kinder cards for our late because he loves them. Crisps. Are they crisps? No, french fries. Mini markies. It's going to be very random this because I'm just going to pull them out as I've got them. Two toilet stuff, chicken sticks, a candle lighter, some boxes biscuits, some more bin liners because I could only get the 10 pack. They don't last long at all. I wouldn't even get a week out of those so I've got two bags. I didn't have three bags. Some more chicken sticks for the dogs, snacks for Ollie, some time outs for Lee, a new little hand wash for our new house. I'll pop that there. Coconut milk, which was what our Denny asked me to pick up. A tray of Fanta Fruit Twist for our late. He absolutely loves those. Some little sticky labels, some Sharpies, a calendar because I've got no calendar like this where you can hang it up and it's got like a little 
whiteboards on it as well another i literally could not resist this notepad for one pound 49 it's a list today and again it's just that things to do today where you tick them off absolutely love it because it's hardback aluminium foil the little duster fluffy dusters with the little refills dairy milk egg and spoon oreos for ollie because he absolutely loves them and if i had three packets of bin liners a tin of chopped tomatoes because our denny asked me to pick them up for him i got a packet of sweeteners a new shower puff so i spent in home bargains 55.66 so that was quite a bit of shopping i'm now gonna have to brush my hair really quickly because it is so knotty where it's really windy outside wash my hands and i've got a meeting at two o'clock and i'm cutting it fine it's currently 25 to 2 and i've got to get to work for two o'clock i'm gonna be fashionably late i'm always fashionably late oh no i gave my heart away went a bit too far our curry off our denny so i got the little <laughs> oh gosh wait until they see that <laughs> so that's the rice and this will be the curry you've made so <laughs> good curry <laughs> Bad curry. How nice does that rice look? Our oh, peg approves down there. And this looks absolutely gorgeous. In fact, let's open this one up as well. Oh, that looks absolutely gorgeous That That is our curry finished. Thank you, Denny, top chef. That was absolutely gorgeous, but that was Lee's plate. That was Lee's plate. And that was my plate. And we are stuffed. That's my exercise goal achieved for the day. My TK Maxx order has just arrived. I ordered two new candles. I got a white linen and a clean kitchen. And I also ordered a new dog bed. We've just been on our walk and I have my long coat on. And this fell out of the sky onto my right shoulder. Now, if that's not a sign, I caught it off my shoulder, I put it in my pocket and then I was scared in case I lost it out of my pocket. So I thought I'll put it in my jeans pocket. I definitely won't lose it and I'm going to put it in my house moving book. So this book has got all notes in for when we move house. So I'm going to pop it in there, get a bit of sellotape when I go down and sellotape it in place. And that's my lucky little feather. Something really funny has happened as well this morning. So when my order came and the parcel woman came to drop the parcel off, she said, can you take a parcel in for next door with yours? I said, yeah, no problem. So mine was a H&M box and it was a pink bag for next door. I didn't even think nothing of it. I just threw it to the side and messaged Nikki who lives next door and was like, I've just took a parcel in for you. She was like, I'm not expecting it. And I was like, well, I've just took a parcel in for you. So my hair partner knocked about 10 minutes later and was like, have you took a parcel? And I was like, yeah, they are. Give the parcel and off he went and then an hour later the people that used to live next door they've been moved for about a year now the people that used to live there the daughter knocked and all answered the door and she was like have you took a parcel in for me and all he was like no and then he was like my mum took a parcel but she's given it to next door so all he shouts up you know mum have you took a parcel in for next door i was like yeah i've given it to mike not realizing that it was the oh, the people that used to live next door so i was like oh, and nikki and mike had already gone out so there's a parcel next door that <laughs> is not their parcel. It's the people that used to live there. So it's made me make a conscious effort to write in my house move book to make sure I change to make sure I change the address on all of my accounts like H and M, ASOS. I don't know. Wherever you order from regularly make sure you change your address and your parcel doesn't end up coming to your old house i'm going to keep these candles these candles are for my new house and the dog bed as well is for when we move so obviously i won't use that until the dogs are well and truly settled they'll be on their usual bed but it'll be nice for them to have a nice new little bed to lie on anyway 
how are you all i hope you're all okay i'm going to go downstairs now have my cook breakfast then i've got a nip to work and i'm going to bring it along with me i'm going to go to our hunt cross door today so i'll give you a little look around in there because i need to film some content for maybe the next week week and a half just so i can try and be a little bit organized so i'm going to bring it along with me you can have a little nose around our hunt cross door and yeah that's my plans for today then i've got to come back and get a shed ton of work done and more decluttering of items that i no longer need and that's part of a different video that you're going to see this is part of my weekly vlog but i'm filming some declutter diaries for anybody who needs a little bit of motivation with cleaning and decluttering and being more organized i'm doing it obviously in the hope that we're going to be moving soon so i'm not going to have as much stuff to pack and to take to the storage unit and stuff like that so anyway that's my plans i'm now rambling i'm going to go and have my breakfast and then we are going to go to work if you're thinking about leaving, let me know. If you're thinking that you don't want to hurt me, coward, I'm getting bored. Cause I can find another, so don't hold me back. You're not allowed to spend my time, my time, cause that is what you came here for. around the decorative department because they've got some gorgeous bits in look at these i think they are absolutely gorgeous and wait till you see these these look amazing on a big kitchen island look at them they're gorgeous the ivies are four pounds That just looks unbelievable, doesn't it? And also... These, you know, for like a little tea light candle. I think they're £14 then. But they are so nice. And these, £30, £50 and £45. They're gorgeous. You literally spoil for choice. There's so much stuff in decorative. Love it. I'll take you upstairs now and let you have a look at the furniture, but I just need to do a little bit more work. A little quick scan of our upstairs. Got some gorgeous displays. Got some new sofas coming in next week, which I've just photographed, but this is gorgeous, the Florence. Oh, Denny and Laura have got this sofa, but in the corner sofa. Oh, that's it there, actually. That's Denny and Laura's one, that one. Gorgeous sofa, but it's massive. And then this bedroom furniture is absolutely gorgeous. So they've got the Belgravia, which is this one. So pretty. And then the Cleo, which is my favourite. I absolutely love this setup. How gorgeous is that? That's so nice. I've just videoed this for our socials for a nice little reel, so it'll look gorgeous. And this clock is back in stock. We get asked about this all the time. Although the time should be set to, is it 10 to two or quarter to three? I think it's 10 to two, isn't it? That, hmm, I don't know, now I'm gonna have to check. It's 10 to two, so usually you would set all the clocks in a shop like this to 10 to two. And the reason why you do that is I'll show you now. It's such a cheeky thing to do, but if we move the hand all the way around till the 
hand gets there just like that it's meant to be so the clock or any watch is smiling at you if you were to look at any like watch shops or clock shops i don't know whether there is any clock shops but if you were to look you will see that they're all set to ten to two because they're smiling and then down there just here we've still got christmas trees love it <laughs> My legs are actually going like jelly though, so I'm still here now, so I'm going to have to get down and go and get some work done. Just a little quick look at our lighting department. These are gorgeous. Um, these are all gorgeous, but the chandelier that I wanted to video and photograph was this one, but it's not, it's not all together yet, so I've got some footage of it from Aintree, but it's not ready yet. And that's it, I'm done. So now I'm going to head home and have a nice cup of tea.